Hello, DII members. I hope uh, all is well and healthy. Unfortunately, uh, due to the uh, ongoing COVID situation, we're not able to be physically present with you today, but we definitely hope that once the pandemic eases up, we can all meet again. Uh, for my uh, session today, I will be talking about uh, project development and realization of large-scale PV projects in Africa, where I'll briefly touch base on the topics of project uh, realization, uh, our risk criteria for analyzing projects. We'll take a look at a case study uh, for Egypt in the Benban Solar Complex, where I'll be discussing uh, our main lessons learned. And finally, we will look at the way forward for pre PV project development in Africa. Um, in introducing myself, uh, my name is uh, Nadim Kobeil, and I am a manager of business development for the Middle East and African team at IB Vogt. IB Vogt, uh, we are a large scale global utility solar power developer. We are a fully integrated company that engages in turnkey PV project realization with expertise in project development, in financing, in EPC, ONM, and asset management. Over uh, the last, uh, I believe, uh, 13 years, we have built uh, over 1.5 gigawatts of solar energy projects. And uh, in this success, we follow mainly four main phases for project realization. Uh, we look into uh, project origination, uh, development and integration phase, the construction phase, and then the sales of the asset. Uh, for origination phase, we start uh, off where we look into specific uh, market structures. We look into country legal frameworks, uh, barriers to entry, and the type of projects we have on the table, which range mainly from greenfield development, where we develop projects from the ground up, or through brownfield developments where we acquire pre-developed projects. In the development and integration phase, uh, we scrutinize what we need for the successful bankability of projects. Here, we analyze the land available, the grid connection, the environmental impact, and all the permits and contractual obligations that are needed for securing debt financing, such as financial modeling, technical planning, and EPC and O&M contracts. Uh, once secured, we move into the construction phase of the project. Then finally, if we decide to sell the asset, we move into the sales phase. Uh, for investors, whether on the debt or the equity side, we follow six main elements in our risk analysis. Uh, we look into the technical risk. For example, if we are developing in a different climate or environment, uh, what is our, uh, our technology choice in those climates? We look into the construction risk of, uh, of the plant itself. We look into the EPC time and budget, so the weather conditions, the labor force. We look into operation risk and choosing the, like, the right local contractors, for example. Um, we also look into who the parties involved on that project are, what are the authorities like, what are the laws and regulations like, what do the financiers need for the successful bankability of such projects. We also look into the project risk, like the bankability of the off-taker and the reliability of the grid. Finally, uh, we look at the country risk, for example, what the political situation is like, is the country safe? Um, is there a forex that's available for the payment from the off-taker, for example? And in uh, this process, we have uh, developed a successful, uh, we have de developed successful projects in uh, East Africa and the Benban Solar Complex of Egypt, where we developed, built, operated, and sold over 230 megawatts of PV installation under the round one and the round two of the feed-in tariff program. Uh, this picture over here is the completion of our first phase of the Benban Park, which was actually the first project that was built over there. Uh, what we learned 
from the development of these projects is that these projects can be multi-year efforts. The hot desert conditions forced us into thinking outside the box because we needed to have an efficient uh, PV plant that was giving the output that was needed to the off taker. Um, it was tough in the beginning to find skilled labor with satisfactory know-how on uh, PV uh, technologies. Um, it was also important for us to keep in mind any changes in law that could have taken place where it could have uh, affected our process in realizing such projects. Uh, sometimes we had potential mis mismatch of uh, financing and uh, the income currency from the off-taker. And of course, uh, there are some uh, hiccups along the way where potential uh, off-takers or grid operators would not oblige would not be obliged by their contractual obligations. Uh, but thankfully, after a lot of hard work, uh, these projects were realized. It was a successful endeavor. And we move on to realizing further projects in Africa and also around the world. Um, what is important to keep in mind and what we take from the case study of building projects in Egypt is that feed-in tariffs and tenders drive solar power growth. And the more mature and the more de-risked the market is, uh, the lower the price of energy that we can provide to the off-takers. Uh, the bankability of projects, of course, is the key to success because without the bankable projects, then we couldn't find uh, financing agencies to help with the debt financing. Also, a clear process for project development is needed for developing more projects in Africa. And it's needed for the efficient realization of such projects. Um, these lessons we carry forward into our future endeavors. And uh, we currently are utilizing such skills in our expansion in the continent uh, of Africa, for example, in South Africa, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and in North Africa as well. Um, that's a brief uh, presentation on the way we realized the project. And my contact details would be provided. And we wish you a good conference. Thank you.